Hello, my most amazing artist. Today we are going to make a night scene pumpkin patch. So you will need your pencil, your scissors, you should have these, and your glue stick. I will come by and give you a black sheet of paper. I will also give you some color paper, some painted paper, an orange paper, a green paper, and a purple paper. These are our secondary colors. And we made this paper last year by mixing primary colors. So for orange, we mixed yellow and red. For green, we mixed blue and yellow. And for our purple, we mixed red and blue. You can see little hints of it there. And then I also will bring you a bag of oil pastels. You'll have white, yellow, light green, dark green, and brown in there. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is we are going to draw on our black sheet of paper. And the first thing I want you to do is take one of your greens, it doesn't matter which one, and just draw a line all the way across. Now you're gonna take your dark green and your light green oil pastel and scribble scrabble all in the bottom half under that line. This will create the marvelous vines of your pumpkin patch. Voila, vines are finished. Next, you're going to take your white oil pastels and start working in the sky. I start to make a star by making an X and then intersecting some short lines. So X and then a line through the middle and a line through the middle. Add lots of stars. You can also add a moon, draw a C and then connect it. You could draw a circle and color it in and have a full moon. Finish your stars. You could also do just polka dot stars if you have trouble with the other type. When your sky is finished, you're gonna put your oil pastels away for a minute and get out your painted paper. You will need your orange one first. Look, there's a pumpkin on the back already drawn. We are going to cut out the pumpkin. Be very careful, don't cut the stem off. Right here, when you get to this part, don't cut the stem off. Cut around the corner and up and over. Now take a minute and decide where you wanna put your pumpkin. Try placing it in different places and see where you like it. When you've decided where you like your pumpkin, flip it over to the white back and find your glue stick. Take the cap off and roll your glue stick up just a little bit. You use the bottom and you twist it and roll it up. Don't roll it up all the way because your glue will break. Now you are going to make an outline, we talked about this last week, of glue on the back of your pumpkin and put an X in the middle. There's no reason to glue the entire back. Just make an outline, put an X. Flip it over, put it where you wanna put it and use your fist to rub it down. You wanna rub it down very, firmly so that that glue attaches to your black paper. Next, we're gonna work on our leaves. So you need your green painted paper and your pencil. You are gonna draw three leaves on the back, the white side of your paper. I just draw a C and then a backward C. Try to fit three, they don't have to be the same size. Next, you're going to cut these out. Cut them out carefully following the pencil lines that you drew. You're gonna have some scrap paper or some trash and you will throw that away at the very end of class. So just make a pile of it. Arrange the leaves like you like it and get your glue stick and glue those leaves on. Remember to press down hard so that they stick. Flip them over, be sure you put the glue on the white paper and press down so that the green paper is showing. A lot of times my kids will put glue on the green part and then we see the white paper, but leaves are green. So just remember to put the glue on the white side. Next, you're gonna take your purple paper and we are gonna make clouds. You could cut these out with your scissors or you could just tear some shapes. Clouds are not really a specific shape. They're all different kinds of shapes. So I'm gonna tear mine and there I go. I've got a cloud to put in my sky. Remember, you're the artist, so you decide how many clouds you want to tear out and then glue them down, just like you glued the leaves. 
press firmly so that they stick on there. When you're finished gluing down your clouds, it's time to put your glue stick away. It's really important that you don't put the cap on with the glue stick rolled up. So roll the glue stick down. He wants to go to sleep in his home. When the glue stick is back down in his tube, you may place the cap on. The last thing we're gonna do is get our oil pastels back out again. You need your yellow and your white. And we are going to make it look like our pumpkin is glowing in the moonlight. So you want to draw curved lines that match the edge of your curved pumpkin. You can use your yellow or white first, it doesn't matter, but yellow and white will kind of illuminate your pumpkin and make it look like it's glowing. You're gonna also do the same thing for the leaves. Finish up with your yellow and white, and then you will take your brown and color your stem, and then you will be finished. Your artwork is complete, and it looks so awesome.